Nice to tell you that we have some nice weather on the way for this holiday week, and so many people on vacation this week. So happy to know the weather is going to be very cooperative. And uh, so let's see what's, uh, what's happening. If you're going to be traveling tomorrow, our travel cast for the day before the 4th, getting to your destinations, perhaps. I know a lot of people are probably already at your destination, but in Boston tomorrow, the high of 88 should be a nice day overall, just a slight chance of a shower storm. There will be a few storms through the Ohio Valley, a few more across the deep south, your typical July map with the temperatures across the nation, mostly in the mid-80s to mid-90s, a few exceptions hotter in the southwest, and also a little cooler around the lake, around Chicago, a little bit of a lake breeze coming in there tomorrow. So that's your travel cast map for uh, July 3rd. And for July 4th here in Boston, fantastic splendid day 83 for a high sunny to partly cloudy nice dry air dew points should be in the 50s along the coast the air temperatures will be in the mid 70s or so in the afternoon with a little bit of a sea breeze happening on on tuesday yesterday's high 88 in boston and 90 in lawrence and 90 in concord new hampshire so again the hottest areas usually are right up here in the merrimack valley uh, of Massachusetts into the Merrimack Valley region of New Hampshire. Now, today it'll be just a little bit warmer. So, Boston, I think, has a real good shot of hitting 90 degrees, and that would make day number eight of 90 or higher in Boston for this season. And that matches all of the season of 2014 when we only had eight. I still, even though we've had quite a few already, still not forecasting to be anywhere near 22 days that we had last year. Beautiful shot this morning with some of the departing high cloudness over Gillette Stadium in Foxborough at 75 degrees. They have a race going on, road race going on there tomorrow morning, a 5K and 10K race, Harvard Pilgrim uh, road race there going on, and then uh, the Revolution's back in town on Wednesday evening with a game against New York at Gillette Stadium. So here's what's going on with lower 70s here right now, except for 48 at the summit of Mount Washington. It is somewhat cooler and drier air out to the west. We've got these dew points, which are now in the upper 60s and touching 70 in spots, so we're right at the oppressive zone. But drier air seeping in this afternoon, these dew points around 55 to 60 degrees. We'll have dew points in the upper 50s this afternoon with air temperatures touching 90, but it will be cooler, upper 70s and lower 80s on the south side of the Cape. We got that south and southwest breeze. Most of the nation today will be right around or just under 90 degrees, so it's a hot one for sure, but a typical early July map. This little weak system in the Great Lakes will give us a couple of showers scattered around tomorrow afternoon. This one is not going to give us any showers today because it's moving right along. All the support has gone out to sea. So we find some sunshine coming in here and beach and boating. We got a high tide next coming up this evening, and that will be happening at 719. It happened about a half hour, I'd say about an hour ago, we had the first high tide of the day. 90 degrees at the east-facing beaches today, 80 degrees at south facing beaches and looking ahead for seven days here we go beautiful weather oh it's going to be so nice dry air tomorrow 88 83 is on tuesday and wednesday and a few more storms coming in near the end of the week lovely july week ahead can't mm. get enough of it